Hi, this video shows how to auto scale your controls on a Microsoft Access database. So what you see here is uh, we have three monitors and on the first monitor, when I scale it there, uh, when I open my application and I open my form and click on the resize button, then all four elements will be placed on the maximum of the width and the height. And now when I go to the big screen, I do the same and you will see it's resizing to the maximum what's possible on the uh, width. That's what we have here as the maximum size. So that's about 50 centi centimeters. And now even on the third monitor, when I open it there and when I scale it and push the button, then I will have it uh, then it scales to the maximum width. So uh, I will show you now the code and I showed it on the, my video with, because the video is itself is for German, written for the German. So we have here now our form and our form and all that stuff is, uh, by the way, on my website, you will find the code there. So we have here our website, uh, no, not our site, that's our access form and the way what we target, what we want to do is to auto scale, to size or move and uh, size our controls, input text boxes and all that stuff. So when, we, when I open it on my demo code and push the resize button, then the form, uh, the form controls will be moved to the right side and to the bottom. And I placed a rectangle there. So this uh, shows me that uh, the position was get there. So we will, you will find the code on my site and inside there we have the following stuff and you may use that code for your own application. It's in Visual Basic for applications. So I get here the maximum width of the uh, internal site. So this is the site, the width from here to there uh, when, when we are in the draft mode. And then we are looking for the real window. I make a scale factor. Then there are also some uh, corrections because it's only maximum to integer values and all that stuff and an uh, unsigned stuff. So simply take that code. Then I have a scale factor and then I use it, apply it on all application, uh, on all controls which are inside of that uh, site. And you will find it on my link below the video. And I've shown you uh, that stuff here on my site. Here, that's what you see there. It's my code and all that stuff. And you find it there. You see it, it runs pretty good. And it's an access database problem or code for solving this problem, which is not the same as what you have here as a normally in Microsoft Access as uh, the uh, anchor, where the top anchor and stretch anchor uh, are placed.